So he went for vacation. The guy is staying in Mombasa, so he went for vacation in Mombasa. He stayed there. So when he was about to come from vacation, but I'm using my really okay. Alipokuwa ataka kurudi sasa nyumbani ataka kurudi kazini kutoka nyumbani kurudi kazini. Beshi yake kutoka huku. Rafiki yake kutoka huku akampigia si. Akampigia simu kumjulisha bana kuna mzigo wangu nataka usafirishe uje nao. Nataka ulete mzigo wangu mzigo gani? Akambuta aletewa mzigo, mzigo ni kiatu. So hata kama ni wewe unajua mtu akikwambia nilete kiatu. Hauta na so, si ni pia moja tu ya kiatu pia moja tu ya kiatu amletea hata mimi like if i was the one that time angeniambia pia mimi niletee viatu pia mimi ningeletea ningekubali nisingekataa but not knowing that huyu jamaa ametumia tu hiyo neno niletee kiatu but kwa hiyo kiatu kuna siri zake ambazo mmezeka hapo ndani hiyo kiatu ndio anataka umletee umletee so he wasn't ready to risk himself but alikuwa anataka mtu mwingine a risk kumletea mzigo Qatar Nini nilikuwa hapo ndani? Ama ni vipi jamaa aligundua mpaka akajua kama hapa ndani kulikuwa na mzigo? Mzigo liletwa, mzigo liletwa ilikuwa tarehe mbili Mzigo liletwa tarehe mbili The girl was supposed to travel on third So mzigo ilipomfikia tarehe mbili mzigo alichukua kaweka ndani kama kawaida si ni mke yetu bwana. Chukua kaweka ndani. Ili kesho yake asafiri alete mzigo the following day of which you can attend it as of this month use it too. so it was fikile tare tatu kabla hajaenda kabla hajatoka nyumbani kuna wengine wa mawana walibarikiwa na wake wema one of them so kama kweli mke mwema akawa ya yakagua mzigo wa bwana yake ambaye ndana nao kama kumpangia yani ku arrange mzigo ili ajue bwanake bana ambeba hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi kila kitu salama basi amwage ende zake mapema mapema wanasema mapema ndio best bibi mashallah kaanza kumpangia bwanake mzigo so hata kama ni bibi ya mtu ukiwa na bibi bwanako anasafiri na kitu ambacho hakikai vizuri utamuuliza eh wewe ni bibi ndio na bwanako anasafiri na kiatu ambacho kinaka kikuku yani ki cha zamani zamani an old shoe utamuuliza bwanako bibi akauliza bwana hivi vya tumbo na vidogo alafu vya kavya zamani vya ndapi si viache kuna lazima kubeba akawaambia bwana huyo ndo mzigo wa rafiki yangu nampelekea chakuta so what was the purpose of that shoe to come to the front what was the purpose of that shoe vikuje kwa rafiki yake ni kwamba aje auze viatu yani vile viatu vilikuwa vije ni kama amemwambia lete viatu yani ni kama vya biashara vile vya So na kama viatu ni biashara automatic tutarajia kiatu kiwe kipya. But kiatu naomba ni cha biashara lakini kinaka kinaka cha zamani. Lazima wewe utashtuka kwa kile hapo. Tajiuliza why? Mbona? So jamaa hakuwa na haraka sana. Hakuwa na haraka. Ilibidi achukue kiatu kile. Akiangalia yani azini yani eh mbona kiatu kiko hivi? Unajua ile so kiatu sio ukifanya kama ukiangalia angalia yani ukichake ki huku na huku na huku mbona kinakaa hivi yani eh so unajua kile kuangalia kiatu mbona kinakaa hivi so once aksa mbona kinakaa hivi akapata ile ina sol ile ina sol sasa nikambe kama ime imekuwa tempered yani kwa kama tempered vile karegeshwa cha nguvu yani so jamali shtuka kile yake na unajua si kisa cha kwanza watu kufichiana miadarati kwa mizigo Afu mtu anakutumua mzigo na wengine sana sana wanashikwa airport. Jamaa alishtuka, aliposhtuka akasema acha akague kiatu. Aliamua acha akakuwa jamaa aliposhtuka aliamua acha akague kiatu. So alipokuwa akagua kiatu. This is what came up. Even ndo aliona. Even ndo aliona. Guess what is that? That's not a grass. That's not grass sinyasi hizo Mhm Jamaa aliona aliona miadarati kwa kiatu bangi Yeah Wanasema unafichwa kama bangi muona bangi ilivyofichwa So 
sijui nani mhusika mkuu wa hiki kitu but tumwambie ni tu kweli na kama ye alikuwa na target nzuri na mwenzake for sure wallahi asingefanya hivi na ama kama basi alikuwa anataka kufanya biashara sasa alikuwa amwambia mwenzake bana hapo ndani kuna A B C D utabeba unibebe tuje tugawanye kitu kama hiyo ajua so yule pia atakuwa yeye anafanya hivi lakini na risk lakini maskini eh maskini kijana wa watu ana ubaya na wewe ya kufanyia tu mema kukuletea mzigo labda alafu umeke kitu kama kile akija kida kwa airport akija kida kwa pale airport shida itakuwa ya nani who will be responsible kwa sababu sheria ukishashi kwa airport nchi yote na miadarati wakamata wewe hawataka kujua mzigo enda wapi they won't follow up mzigo enda wapi all they need is waliompata nao mzigo ni nani watashika huyo amkamate huyo sasa jamaa atakuwa ameshikwa na kosa ambalo si lake na you know how much is the fine it's almost million of uh, kenyan shilling na pia labda ukirudi Kenya pia askari wa Kenya pia wanataka kukula nitakuwa deported so kazi unakosa jela unaenda familia yako inaanza kuangaika ukitafuta kwa wapi haujulikani kwa wapi just because of one person ambaye alikuwa anakuchongea okay tuseme alikuwa hana nia kumchongea mbona ikile kitu pale ndani mbona kumwambia ukweli ili amwe mwenyewe atabeba ma asibebe So you know, most of these people it's a train it's like a, 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 it's a chain of course it's a chain ambayo wanajuana they know each each wanajuana hawa watu ambao wanauza mihadarati sana sana kwa hizi nchi za warabuni kwa sababu hairuhusiwi kufika wanajuana wanajua mihadarati yatoka hapa enda kule wanajua huyu ndo anauza na huyu hauzi they know each wanajuana vizuri ukifuatilia utajua ndo huyu ndo huyu So polisi akishashika mmoja wanaangalia wale wenyewe akishashi kwa yule mwenye ni mhusika mkuu hata kitu na polisi hata jitaja ataangalia who is the weak person in this group yetu ambayo sisi tunavuta hiki kitu ama sisi ambao tunauza hiki kitu who is the weakest person ambao tunaweza tukampeana na kashua kapele kwa nyumbani sisi wengine tuka safe tukaendelea na kazi so wakisha realize the weak the weak person watampiana the weak person wale wengine survive it's going on tunajua akisha patikana yule ambaye ni ngumu kujitetea kwake ama ukiona yule ayule haiko strong yule tazampeana akashuka yule sio ngine tukasurvive watampeana huyo wengine watasurvive na our ladies who are mostly working outside in arabic countries most of them are the people that are get used to sell these things kwa sababu polisi hawashuku wengi wao hawashuku polisi hawashana Yo najua labda bag zao polisi hataki kuangalia. Warabu ni ngumu sana upate polisi wa kike wanazunguka. So wale polisi wanaume ni ngumu washike msichana wamwambie hebu toa bag to pension. Ni ngumu. Watamuza tu ID. Akishaonyesha ID hivi ataachiliwa. So napata most of the ladies are get used to sell this medication, uh, to sell these drugs. Most of the ladies who are gas count not all of them but most they are used to sell these drugs. So guys uh, this is just part 1 and I'll come up with part 2. I'm still collecting more information about this guy. I will come up with the name of the guy. Nikishamjua I will tell you guys. I will tell you the real name of the guy ambaye amefanya hivi tuko. Na Guys this is just part 1. I'll come up with part 2 about the same story. But what I can but ile kitu nataka kuambia kwa sasa we must be very careful very very careful afadhali mtaki kutuma mzigo wake kama una lazima sana ama unaona ni rafiki yako na uwezi mkatalia make sure hiyo mzigo na utafuta juu chini unaangalia kila mahali kila mahali upekuepe kuwa kila mahali uhakishe mzigo kwa salama na kama ni mtu mfahamu amekupigia tu simu letee mzigo kataa hazi kufanya chochote yeye pia atakuja nyumbani atasafiri atajibebea mwenyewe au sio